地風間の力は命を育みその力であなた自身と和也さんを救ってあげて。Welcome, fight enthusiasts. Today's episode is the deep dive into the enigmatic world of Jin Kazama, a formidable force in the realm of video game martial arts. Prepare yourselves as we unravel the intricate tapestry of his origins, exploring the mysterious ties that bind him to his father, the legendary Kazuya Mashima. But that's not all. We'll delve into the complex dynamics between Jin's mother and Kazuya, unearthing the secrets that have shaped the Mashima family saga, from the fiery clashes to the poignant moments. We're about to embark on a thrilling journey through the tumultuous beginnings of the Mashima family. So buckle up, grab your popcorn, and join us for an enthralling compilation of videos that promises to be as electrifying as Jin Kazama's devastating martial arts moves. Without further ado, let me welcome you to the Fighterverse. In the world of Tekken, the father and son duo, Gasuya Mishima and Jin Gasama, don't exactly set the best example for family harmony. These central figures in the Tekken franchise, alongside Kasuya's father, Heiachi, have been embroiled in conflict since the series began. The recent Tekken 8 debut showcases a monumental battle between Jin and Gasuya, emphasizing the ongoing intensity of their complex relationship. Throughout Tekken's seven main installments, the paths of Jin, Gasuya, and Heiachi have repeatedly crossed. Despite occasional alliances, their family dynamic remains fraught with tension. Heiachi's relentless pursuit of power and Gasuya and Jin's unwavering drive for revenge have kept the Mishima family embroiled in conflict for over 25 years. With Heiachi's presumed demise hinting at a departure from a tradition in Tekken 8, the stage is set for the climatic resolution of Jin and Gasuya's enduring rivalry. At the tender age of five, he stumbled upon the shocking truth that his own father, Heiachi, had murdered his mother, Gasumi. Fueled by rage, Gasuya confronted Heiachi. Only to be brutally defeated and thrown off a cliff. Heiachi, fearing a mysterious genetic curse known as the Devil Gene, believed that a near death experience might unlock its dark powers within Gasuya. To everyone's surprise, the Devil Gene did awaken in Gasuya, allowing him to survive the fall. Under Heiachi's harsh training, Gasuya's formidable strength grew. In the first King of Iron Fist tournament, Gasuya emerged victorious, finally getting revenge on his father by tossing him off a cliff. However, in Tekken 2, Gasuya's inner demons began to surface. His tumultuous relationship with Gene. Gasuma triggered a struggle for control between his humanity and the devil gene. Seizing the opportunity, Heiachi returned to defeat his son in the tournament's final. In a shocking turn of events, Heiachi then airlifted Gasuya and dropped him into a volcano, seemingly ending his life. Yet Gasuya's legacy lived on. Unknown to Heiachi, Gasuya had passed the devil gene to his unborn son, Jin, setting the stage for a new chapter in the Mishima's family turbulent saga. Now, this is where the rivalry begins. Following Jin Kasama's birth, his mother, June, adopted a reclusive lifestyle in the Mountains, aiming to protect them from the looming threat of his father, Kasuya. Sensing the imminent danger posed by Ogre, a formidable supernatural being, Jun revealed Jin's true origins and instructed him to seek out his grandfather, Heiachi, if something were to happen to her. Unfortunately, Jun's premonitions proved accurate. And after Ogre took her life, Jin was left with a burning desire for revenge. To hone his skills and prepare for challenges ahead, Jin sought training under his estranged grandfather, Heiachi, mastering the Mishima style karate. The culmination of his efforts came to light in the third King of Iron Fist tournament during the events of Tekken 3. Jin emerged victorious by defeating Ogre, only to be betrayed in a shocking turn of events. Heiachi, driven by his own selfish motives, shot Jin in the head. This treacherous act triggered the awakening of Jin's dormant devil gene. Unleashing a dark power within him, fueled by a newfound determination for revenge, Jin swore to confront the twisted legacy of his family and settle the score with those who had wronged him. The Mishima family saga continued, with Jin becoming a central figure in the ongoing struggle for power and redemption. In Tekken 4, after many years of separation, Kasuya encountered his son Jin in a lab where Heiachi aimed to extract the devil gene from Jin for his own ambitious plans. Despite Kasuya's ability to momentarily subdue and control his inner devil, Jin ultimately unleashed his formidable power. In a fierce confrontation, Jin defeated both his father and grandfather, leaving them behind as he disappeared into the night. In the aftermath of this class, Gasuya assumed the role of CEO at the enigmatic G Corporation. Tensions escalated further when Jin took control of Heiachi's Mishima Saibatsu, 
the power struggle between father and son continued to unfold in Tekken 6, with Jin grappling with internal conflicts related to his own demonic powers. In a drastic move, Jin declared war on the world, targeting corrupt governments and seeking to eradicate the devil gene by awakening the ancient demon Azazel. As Jin's Mashima Saibatsu clash with Gasuya's G Corporation, a full-scale war erupted. The two powerful organizations stood up on opposite sides of the conflict, with Gasuya leading G Corporation in a bid to stop Jin's destructive path. The Mishima family's complex and tumultuous history continued to shape the fate of the world, with each member battling for supremacy and control over the legacy of the devil gene in Tekken 7. Seizing the opportunity, Heiachi, who had been lurking in the shadows, reclaimed control of the Mishima Saibatsu. However, this did not bring an end to the ongoing war, as the relentless pursuit between Gasuya and Heiachi persisted. The feud between father and son escalated to its zenith in Tekken 7, culminating in a spectacular showdown atop an active volcano. In a climatic twist, Gasuya gained the upper hand and triumphed by sending his father plummeting into the molten lava below, seemingly ending Heiachi's tumultuous reign. With Heiachi's removal, the stage is set for a new chapter in the Mishima saga. Jin, discovered and nursed back to health by his allies, emerged from the shadows, vowing to avenge the actions of his father. As Tekken 8 looms in the horizon, it seems that the age-old Mishima feud might finally be approaching its resolution. The question remains whether this next installment will serve as the arena for Jin and Gasuya to settle their long-standing score once and for all. The spotlight of the Tekken lore falls on none other than Jun Kazama a character who has been conspicuously absent from the Tekken universe for almost three decades. Clocking in over a million views within a mere 24 hours, it's evident that Jun's return trailer is a momentous occasion for the fanbase. Having last graced the Tekken stage in 1995's Tekken 2, her reappearance raises a myriad of questions and speculations, especially considering her prolonged absence from the mainline games. With the anticipation reaching a fever pitch, fans are eager to uncover the untold chapters of Jun Kazama's story as this unexpected comeback promises to unravel some of the series' most enduring mysteries. Diving into the enigmatic realms of Tekken 8, Jun Kazama Kazama's unexpected return emerges as a crucial puzzle piece, poised to illuminate the shadow shrouding her mysterious connection with Kazuya Mashima. Although Jun has graced only one main Tekken game so far, her significance is far from trivial. Initially dispatched to apprehend Kazuya in Tekken 2, the narrative takes a compelling twist as Jun becomes pregnant with Jin Kazama, the offspring of their tumultuous union, yet is a topic of fervent debate among fans. In Tekken 2, Jun's recognition of Kazuya's devil gene-infused powers fuels her desires to liberate him from the darkness within. While this scenario sets the stage for a potential romance, the game adds layers of complexity. Jun finds herself drawn to Kazuya in ways that defy explanation, creating an intricate dance of attraction that neither she nor the player can entirely comprehend. The game emphasizes that her feelings are beyond her control, yet the years have seen the Jun Kazuya dynamic become a fan favorite. Although Kachiro Harada, Tekken's director, previously stated in Japanese that Kazuya never saw Jun as his wife, recent tweets from Harada suggest that Jun's return will yield considerable influence over Kazuya, sparking curiosity about the unexpected turns their relationship may take. When her son, Jin Kazama, was a teenager, Ogre attacked Jun and Jin's home, leaving their house completely destroyed and Jin alone, as Jun was nowhere to be found. Since then, many fans have assumed Jun to be dead, which has given quite a bit of weight to Ogre's position in the game as an antagonist. However, throughout the years, Harada has insisted that no one has ever confirmed or denied that Jun was dead, only that she was missing. This has certainly come to be the case, as with Tekken 8, Jun finally returns. That being said, many fans are undoubtedly already speculating as to what happened the day that Jun disappeared. Since she wasn't killed by Ogre and seemed to have escaped, fans are likely wondering how she was able to get away and where she's been since that fateful day, if not by her son's side. There has been a significant amount of time that June has been missing, and since it's been so long, there are a lot of questions as to what exactly she's been up to, if she's been aware of what's been going on in the world of Tekken, and why she hasn't reappeared until now. To find out that Kazuya loves June, and has a part of the overall lore of Tekken 8's story, we have to ask an important question. Do Kazuya and Jun love each other? Short answer, perhaps in the past, but there's no evidence in the present. It's a loaded question with a complicated answer. Kazuya and Jun would have a 22-year history when they reunite again in Tekken 8. In Tekken 2, the most official sources are consistent that 1. Jun had an emotional and spiritual impact on Kazuya. 2. Kazuya rejected redemption and Jun failed to save him. Harada's tweet implies that Kazuya does not see his experience with Jun favorably. Kazuya still doesn't like Jun and sees it as a moment of weakness or mystery. Kazuya is consistently described as someone who discarded his humanity, has made no effort to find Jun in the last 20 years, cold and apathetic to his son Jin, and sees the Kazama blood as a threat. Based on this information, it's fair to conclude there is no evidence that Kazuya still harbors any kind of affection for Jun as of Tekken 8. It's interesting to note that Jin's name shares the same kanji with Jinpachi, a family member that Kazuya loved 
If Kazuya and Jun shared intimate personal details with one another, then Jin's name could have been inspired out of those moments. However, this might not be what happened, and Jin was named by developers just because it resembled Jun's name. On Jun's side, while her desire to save Kazuya is clear, there's also no evidence of lingering feelings. If Jun had a positive experience with Kazuya, wouldn't it make sense that she speaks of him favorably to Jin? But so far, there's nothing in canon telling us how Jun approached the subject of Kazuya to her son. Jin also doesn't have any notion that his father is redeemable. In the Tekken 3 manual, Jin seems to know who his father is by the time he went to Haihachi to train. However, in all of the other games, there was too little information. In the Tekken Bloodline anime, Jun refuses to talk about Kazuya. However, this is assuming the games will be consistent. It's possible they will pull a Tekken 7 and retcon all the past information given to us. The Mishima family's origins can be traced back to the Heian period in Japan, where they were originally a warrior clan that served the Emperor. In more recent times, the family built an industrial empire that specialized in providing military resources to Japan during World War II. Jinpachi Mishima, the patriarch of the family, later shifted the focus of the family's corporation away from the military and towards martial arts training. He created his own style of karate, the Mishima-style fighting karate, which he taught to his son Heihachi and a young girl named Kazumi, who belonged to a family of secret assassins known as the Hachijo clan. It was during this time that Kazumi and Heihachi fell in love and eventually got married, later having a son named Kazuya Mishima. Jim Pachi was also involved in the training of Kazuya, who he had a close relationship with. However, after Jim Pachi was imprisoned and Kazumi was killed, Heihachi became the sole teacher of Kazuya and his adopted son, Lee Chao Lan. He was a harsh and unforgiving teacher, instilling in them a philosophy of survival of the fittest, where the only thing that mattered in a fight was who was left standing. After Kazumi's failed assassination attempt on Heihachi, she feared that both her husband and son, Kazuya, would become a threat to the world. To prevent this, she asked Akuma, whom she had once saved, to promise to kill them if she failed to do so. Heihachi forcibly took control of the family corporation from Jinpachi and imprisoned him underneath Honmaru after Jinpachi staged a coup to regain control. In the same year, Kazumi was killed by Heihachi after her second failed assassination attempt. Heihachi initially believed Kazumi suffered from a split personality disorder, but she later revealed her devil form and her mission to kill him in order to protect the world. A five-year-old Kazuya witnessed his mother's death at the hands of his father, and Heihachi beat him near a cliff. Believing that Kazuya might have the same illness as his mother, Heihachi threw him off the cliff. After surviving the fall, Kazuya climbed back up and Heihachi continued to raise him. Heihachi adopted Li Chao Lan as a rival for Kazuya, hoping to motivate Kazuya to become stronger. He discovered Li's fighting skills and reflexes while watching him fight on the streets of a Chinese city. Heihachi's tough education of both sons inspired a lasting hatred towards him, which Kazuya and Li still harbor to this day. Years later, Heihachi had a child named Lars Alexanderson with a Swedish woman to ensure that he was no longer involved in the transmission of the devil gene. Lars did not show any signs of carrying the gene, which ended Heihachi's interest in him. After winning the first King of Iron Fist tournament and defeating his father Heihachi, Kazuya took over the Mishima Zaibatsu and organized the second tournament. During this time, he met Jun Kazama and fathered a son with her, Jin, who also possessed the devil gene. However, Kazuya was defeated by Heihachi at the end of the second tournament and was seemingly killed. Fifteen years later, Jin sought out Heihachi to help him become stronger and seek revenge against his mother's killer. Heihachi trained Jin for four years, and they had a better relationship than Heihachi had had with his own sons. However, Heihachi eventually shot Jin in the head, triggering the awakening of his devil Jin and turning him into devil Jin. Jin became determined to undo the evil associated with the Mishima name and fought against his father and grandfather in subsequent tournaments. After defeating his great-grandfather Jinpachi, Jin took over the Mishima Zaibatsu but became a tyrant. His uncle Lars and Heihachi's adopted son, Li Chao Lan, led a coup against him, and they now seek to use Jin to end the global war between the Mishima Zaibatsu, now led by Jin, and G Corporation, led by Kazuya. Heihachi was killed in a fight against Kazuya. Tekken 7 
VII was intended to be the culmination of the Mishima clan saga, providing answers to long-standing questions about the family's history. While the game did deliver on this promise to some extent by concluding the conflict between Heihachi and Kazuya, the saga itself still persists, with Kazuya taking on the role of the primary antagonist. Despite Heihachi's death, the Mishima family's story remains unfinished, and the events of Tekken 7 set the stage for further developments and conflicts within the clan. As such, fans of the series can look forward to more dramatic confrontations and plot twists in the future. The Mishima family is comprised of several prominent leaders. Jinpachi Mishima, the father of Heihachi and grandfather of Kazuya and Lars, Heihachi Mishima, the son of Jinpachi, husband of Kazumi, and father of Kazuya, Lee, and Lars, passed away in Tekken 7. Kazumi Mishima, Heihachi's wife and Kazuya's mother, died before the events of the Tekken series. Kazuya Mishima, the grandson of Jinpachi, son of Heihachi and Kazumi, an adopted brother of Lee and half-brother of Lars, is also the father of Jin. Lee Chao Lun, Heihachi's adopted son and Kazuya's adopted brother, is Jin's uncle. Lars Alexanderson, Heihachi's illegitimate son and Kazuya's half-brother, is also Jin's uncle. Jin Kazama, the great-grandson of Jinpachi, grandson of Heihachi and Kazumi, son of Kazuya and Jun, and nephew of Lee and Lars, took his mother's family name as he was raised by her. And that's a wrap on our exploration of the Mishima family tree. From Jin Pachi to Jin, this family's story is one of epic battles, family drama, and powerful legacies. Before we dive in, a quick heads up. Spoilers incoming. If you're okay with that, let's get into it. Now, one of the Heiachi's darkest deeds involves the heartbreaking murder of his own wife. In the Tekken 7 storyline, we discover that Heiachi's decision to kill his wife, Gasumi, stemmed from his belief that she carried the devil gene. However, the plot thickens when we recall events from Tekken 4, where Heiachi was actively seeking to acquire that very same gene for himself, so it's safe to say that he is not exactly wearing a halo. What makes this even more twisted is that by eliminating Gasumi, Heiachi completed a dark circle of family destruction, having previously succeeded in wiping out every other member of his kin. This brutal act not only showcased Heiachi's willingness to cross moral boundaries, but also hinted at a level of insanity as he relentlessly pursued his ambitious goals, regardless of the cost to his own family. Another horrifying act of evil by Heiachi Mishima was sealing his father to death. Now let's rewind and look at how Heiachi kicked off his family disposal routine. By taking out his own father, he had his eyes set on the Mishima Saibatsu, and he wasn't waiting for an invitation. He forcefully seized control by capturing Jinpachi, his old man, and imprisoning him beneath the Honmaru Mansion. Tragically, Jinpachi met a grim fate, starving to death in that dark confinement, all because Heiachi had a burning desire to take the reins of the family company. Talk about a ruthless power move. One of Heiachi's most despicable acts of cruelty takes the spotlight in this next dark chapter. Brace yourself for this one. Heiachi Heiachi actually tossed his own child, the young Kasuya, into a raging volcano. Yep, you heard it right, it's as heartless as it gets. In Tekken 7, the series attempted to justify Heiachi tossing Kasuya into a volcano by claiming it was to rid the world of the devil gene. But let's be real here, it's a pretty weak excuse. I mean, come on, we're talking about a child, regardless of any supposed gene. The fact remains that Kasuya was Heiachi's own son, and throwing your own flesh and blood, especially at such a tender age, into a volcano is beyond comprehension for most people. Yet for Heiachi, it was just another dark chapter in his ongoing campaign of family calling within the Mishima clan. And one of the most upsetting evil acts that Heiachi made was based on shooting his grandson in the head. In a chilling conclusion to the Mishima family saga, Heiachi solidified his dark legacy by betraying his own grandson in the aftermath of Tekken 3. Jin, unsuspecting and perhaps too trusting, learned the harsh lesson of never fully trusting a Mishima. The betrayal came swiftly, as Heiachi ruthlessly gunned down his own grandson with a clean headshot, putting a sinister end to their family ties. Sure, Jin later came back to life, thanks to the devil Jin, seeking revenge and attacking Heiachi upon his resurrection. But from Heiachi's perspective, his initial intent was clear. He went there with the sole purpose of ending Jin's life. It's an unforgivable act when a person is willing to take the life of their own teenage grandson. Dark times indeed for the Mishima family. Hopefully we resumed what you guys needed to know about this revealing rivalry. So what did you guys think? Let us let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more theories and info. This has been your your host, welcome to the Fighterverse.